And we might as well go ahead and talk about this right now. Because I'd say by now that they're rolling this out and it's trending number one on Google Trends, or number two, by this weekend it'll be trending everywhere. By this weekend, the, the news media in America be done picked it up. I'm going to give you my predictions as it pertains to this damn monkeypox. First of all, let me say this. If you recall, when it first rolled out, there was a certain demographic of people that were having issues with this. Everybody wasn't having issues with this. It was a very certain demographic. Then they rolled out a bop for it, and they convinced people to take the bop for this thing. So they all went and got the bop. And it's been about a year, chronological order, since they rolled that out. And we all know from the order in which the last bop worked, it took about 12 months for people to start having complications. And we all know people who took the last bop have been diagnosed with COVID five, six, seven, eight, nine times. Dr. Fauci is one of the people who says he took every shot and every booster. And Fauci has had COVID five, six times. All right, so let's establish something. They're going to try and make you put something in your arm. And they're going to try and force it on you. It's right in time for the election, so the news media is going to have to get on board. But here's what I have as a question for you. How do they propose to stop a pandemic this time when they scattered all these people around the country coming across borders illegally everywhere, all over the world? You got these people that came in illegally. So how are you going to stop a pandemic with borders wide open all over the world? They are supposed to be the World Health Organization, if I'm not mistaken today by New York Mayor Adams to do something about the migrant encampments popping up on Randall's Island. Exactly what Mr. Adams plans to do, that's yet to be seen. And where will those people go anyway? Well, that's the whole issue unto itself. I would... And right, Bill, as you know, the mayor has been very clear on this for months. You cannot camp out in New York City. As you can see behind me, there are migrants living in tents here on Randall's Island. Now, the city has been very good about this, moving tens of thousands of people out of the shelters and even out of town. But clearly, that doesn't work for everybody. Why are you sleeping out here? His name is Amadou, and he lives beneath a tree on Randall's Island, surrounded by what little clothes he has and a pile of plastic bottles, his only source of income. Speaking in French, he tells us he's been homeless in New York for more than a year. On the outskirts of a soccer field, migrants from South America are living in tents and drying their clothes in the sun after washing them in the East River. Still others are gathered outside the Randalls Island shelter, claiming they have nowhere else to go because shelter stays are limited to just 30 days. How in the Sam hell do you plan to stop a pandemic when borders are open everywhere? Well, quite frankly, they don't plan on stopping it. There's no way they can stop it. No way at all. So let's just hypothetically say this is real. Let's just hypothetically say that when Bill Gates and his ugly wife were sitting there and they were saying, yeah, you next one you won't be able to ignore. And they're just looking at each other and smile. And let's just say this is the next one that they're talking about. There's no mechanism in place to stop this because there's no borders anymore. So for this man right here, who's not a real doctor, for the record, to sit here and tell you, oh, it's a grave threat to society and the world, and we declare a global emergency, and blah, blah. Screw you. The womb you came out of, everything you believe in, everything you hope to believe in, and everything that you will ever be. Because y'all nothing but a bunch of wicked bastards. Now, you two going to have a problem with me saying it, but quite frankly, I don't care. Now, let's go ahead and listen to see what this lying bastard got to say. What a volume. Turn it. The committee met and advised me that met. in its view. Pause. Look at them eyes. Let me make this big. I'll be telling y'all look in people's eyes. Hold on. Let me see if y'all can see. Let's see, I might have just messed it up. Hold on. I want you to see these damn psychopath eyeballs. All right. These are the eyes of a psychopath. These are the eyes of somebody. In fact, when I look in those eyes, I see somebody who just did something. And come to the realization that something about to go down and it's like, oh crap. Don't 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 that look like an old crap look on his face? Look at him. Let's see what else he gotta say. The situation constitutes a public health emergency of international concern. I have accepted that advice. Detection and rapid spread of a new wait, wait, clade of MPOX detection. Who gave you this device? That advice? Today the emergency committee met 
met and advised me that, in its view, the situation constitutes a public health emergency of international concern. I have accepted that advice. Detection and rapid spread of a new clade of mpox in eastern DRC, its detection in neighboring in countries that had not previously reported mpox and the potential for further spread within Africa and beyond is very worrying. Well, they always got to talk to the people in Africa. Huh? Crazy that they always got to slam the people in Africa. You trying to tell me every virus that starts, starts in Africa. That don't make no damn sense. It don't make no damn sense. So every virus got to start in Africa with the Africans. Everything starts in Africa. The hell out of here. I don't know what bio lab y'all pulled this crap out of. I don't know who's behind you guys pulled this out of and who you jabbed up to get it done. But, man, I, I'm so sick and tired. Aren't you sick and tired of these people? I'm sick and tired of these people. In addition to other outbreaks of other clades of mpox in other parts of Africa, it's clear that a coordinated international response is essential to stop these outbreaks. In other words, give me some money, because we need some money. We accord, we need a coordinated funding to deal with this. Give us money. And save lives. Don't give a damn about no lives. They ain't never gave a damn about nobody's life. Now, as a reminder, ladies and gentlemen, because most people tend to forget these things as they roll out, so sometimes we have to rewind and go back to the future. And that's what we're doing. We're going back to the future. Remember this guy. When people are vaccinated, they can feel safe that they are not going to get infected. Now, I got infected about two weeks ago. It was my third infection, and I had been vaccinated and boosted a total of six times. When people are vaccinated, they can feel safe that they are not going to get infected. Now, I got infected about two weeks ago. It was my third infection, and I had been vaccinated and boosted a total of six times. That alone means this man needs to go to prison. That means he needs to go to prison. And let's see what else he had. This is back in the day when he was giving people but, HIV. Uh, but she had the flu for 14 days. Should she get a flu shot? Well, no. If she got the flu for 14 days, she's as protected as anybody can be because the best vaccination is to get infected yourself. And so she should if not she get re- it? If she really has the flu, she definitely doesn't need a flu vaccine. Next. If she really has the flu. I wonder what happened to this man. He looks broke right then and there, though. Don't he look like he don't have no money? Look at this version of this version of him. Like he got a paper right there. He looked flat broke. This is before he got compromised. Before he decided, I need to give me some damn money. I need me some money. Yeah. 